Let's go to Kelsey Kushner now in Baltimore City. Hey, Kelsey, you attended a vigil tonight in honor of Mervo's Jeremiah Brogdon, who was shot and killed just two weeks ago, just hours before the school's first home game of the season. Yeah, well, it was a very emotional evening out here. The Merville community is already mourning the loss of, Jer uh, of Jeremiah Brogdon and of Elijah Gorham, who died last year on the football field. Uh, a lot of the kids telling me tonight that this is just becoming far too common. Jeremiah's mom telling me all her son ever wanted to do was play in the NFL and make people laugh. Jeremiah! The football field at Mervo High School glowed Thursday night. It broke my heart. It was somebody that I was close to. Family, friends, and community members came together to honor 17 year old Jeremiah Brogdon, a junior at Mervo and football star. He was shot and killed nearly two weeks ago on school campus just after dismissal and hours before the team's first home football game. It was just like how he was just all together like 10 minutes ago. And then 10 minutes later, you know, such a uh, tragic accident happens. Candles were lit to remember Brogdon as a bright light, both on the field and off. He was a funny guy. Jeremiah was a, a young man full of life and energy, always telling jokes, always with a smile. Brogdon's mom says he wanted to be a professional football player. His coach telling her it was an honor to be a part of his journey. I also want to thank you, Mom, um, for giving this opportunity to coach your son. A team that's still mourning the loss of football player Elijah Gorham, who died nearly a year ago after a traumatic head injury during a football game, now has another reason to keep playing. We um put both of them on our backs and play for them moving forward. Starting All while making sure the legacy of Brogdon lives on. He would want us to, you know, live up everything in his name, do everything that he couldn't do, you know, and just be a better person than he was. Now, the family was presented with one of Jeremiah's football jerseys tonight. Now, as of right now, there is a 17-year-old behind bars tonight with, without bail uh, facing charges for Brogdon's death. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.